Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Humankind Open Dev session here in Victor. And we pick things back up on turn 31 in the Dynasty of Drow in the Ancient Air. Uh, we are trying to fend off the cultural invasion of our neighbors. So we got an introduction to civics last time. Uh, we have an influence factor involved as well. And we are basically uh, losing out to our neighbors who seems to have more influence than us. That's fine. Uh, we will overcome that soon. It's only off by about one point. They have 9 of 17. We have 8 of 17. So we just got to find some way to increase our influence uh, to fix that. Right now, our territory is glowing uh, yellow like they are. Uh, they're basically the yellow color faction. And we also have this just hopelessly no influence from my own. Uh, but I claimed it, so it's my land for now. I think influence only deals with uh, how our people view them, like you basically know their culture well so you don't want to go to war with them and such. There's probably other factors evolve as well since we are relatively new to the game. Uh, but that's enough said. We also got introduction to faith. Uh, we got this religion, we went with shamanism because I wanted to get more influence on the holy site and we have to build the holy site. And I think there's ways to pick tenets, right, for the religions. It will get pretty fancy. Multiple tiers of tenants. And we need to have ourselves a holy site first, I think. We can build one. Um, it is very, very expensive in terms of production cost, 400. And um, we can place it anywhere within our reach. Hmm next to a mountain, perhaps. It's a tile that we wouldn't waste too much. Now, I don't know if there's any adjacency bonuses for this. Once a cultural wonder or holy site's place, you can no longer unqueue or move the construction. So we have to keep it. Um, stability on the district. I mean, makes me feel like I could put this far away and still be okay with it. Right now I'm trying to finish a farming quarter right here uh, because that tile surprisingly have no yield, right? This tile here has no yield somehow and putting a farm there wouldn't waste anything and will actually give us yield as well. Uh, let's put the hexagon back on and we'll finish that first five turns and then focus on this. We might, I mean right now I'm still interested in growth. Once we get two farmers, which is our maximum number, we can put a few in industry. Uh, our greatest strength right now, surprisingly, is science, even though we are culture sieve. Um, because we get six science from our Confucian school, very beautifully built next to a mountain. And because we build it next to a mountain, I think we got the bonus for... Um, there was a bonus for something for being placed next to a mountain. I think science. I think the science is from the building uh, being next to it. I could be wrong. Not exactly super familiar with the game. Right, plus five science per adjacent mountain. So it could have been crazy if we had a terrain that was very mountainous. We don't have one like that. Uh, so currently we only have plus five, which is still pretty impressive. Uh, we met a new faction. Greetings. I'm a good neighbor and a loyal friend. As long as you don't cross me. <laughs> Mycenaeans. Uh, the Greeks. Uh, Isabella, the avatar, is the one who founded the Greeks. We can introduce ourselves. Why not? And we can say, let's trade, because it seems like that's what they propose to us every time. Although, a non aggression pack would be really lovely, too. Hmm. I don't know where you are. Yeah, we're pretty far away from each other. She's cool headed, she's hateful. Treacherous again. Extra food for her faction. That's that seems broken. Plus five food. That's impressive. Plus two combat strength on emblematic units. Okay. Uh. Do you care for non-aggression pack? Things change. Even leaders and empires. What about? I have a proposal oh, for you. We cannot propose something Forget after something being rejected. Become friends. <laughs> Forget all that. Yeah, we we offered you to become friends, but you said no. Alright, our units. We're still keen on exploring the land. I will hunt. I think that's the only way for us to gain food right now. Mm. 
confirm the battle. You can stay here. You can start here. Mm, yeah, that's the best thing we can do here. Even though we're attacking from the lowland, it's already pretty injured, so I think we won't take too much damage. And then he will charge us and get killed. There we go. Quick fight. Get some gold. So there's no food anymore. We can't grow population like we used to do. We have to get it through, um, basically, growth from the food in the cities. There's a curiosity here. I, I still don't know what it's granting us, because it doesn't feel like I'm getting anything. Maybe, maybe some influence. We'll take a look before we step on it next turn. Alright, this group needs to go north because I feel like there's much more over here. It might be connected. And you guys are all shifting away. Because I don't think the combat strength of the scouts is anything to, you know, Follow me. gloat about. So they're not really going to be a great defensive force for us. Now, the mountain here is beautiful. Uh, but unfortunately, unfortunately, like... The other tiles are not that great, so we wouldn't have placed a city here just for a really amazing science building, like five extra science. I think that's all. I think everyone has moved. Yep. And we have finished building. I cannot claim a new city unless I have 160 influence, which we'll get there soon. And I'm probably going to build this city out. Um, not so keen on this one. Once we get this one, we would have access to horse and uh, copper. We are building an extractor. It will take a couple turns to build. Eight more turns to get ourselves a horse ranch up and going. So that's exciting. Uh, let's continue for now. Wait, urgent affair requiring our attention. There is an event. The flooded lands, an unrelenting deluge of rainfall, lashes down upon the great city of Haojing and the surrounding lands. If the rain doesn't stop soon, the banks of the great river that threads through the city will burst flooding the adjacent quarters. With limited time and resource, the choices are stark. What do you do? Gamble. Leave it to the fates. Adapt. Limited adaptation should mi uh, mitigate the biggest risk, and the rains might relent in any case. Uh, chance of bad consequences. So why would we spend 60 for... Okay, so chance of bad. Chance of terrible. Uh, expensive dike around Haldzin will ensure the city is protected from any flood threat. We do have the money for it, and I think, given that we are playing the Zhou Dynasty, that taking care of the water system is definitely one of the earliest uh, tasks for any civilization, and we should definitely go for that. So hopefully that event has a follow-up, because I believe most of the event in-game does have follow-ups here. And the good consequence I'm hoping is plentiful food around us, given that we have created a dike for the river. Let us end turn. We have finished researching city defense. Palisades can be built, watchtowers can be erected, and warriors can be recruited. First, we pick a new science. So carpentry looks really, really easy and quick. Um, Let's get it, and then we can adapt. There's nothing I really want to rush to. I know we kind of got uh, these to go for wheels to get our unique unit, but before we get our resources, it's kind of pointless. Automatically create roads between city and outposts. That is great. I do want that. Um, masonry, forced labor, working citizens. This hard will send them to early grave, but... Oh, huh, early grave. It sounds kind of scary. Extra influence on May Plaza. Feels like right now I'm just in an influence war with people. Oh, we do want copper. That's probably next. Let's get carpentry first just because it's super fast. Give a Zaha? That's not a Zaha. Good. Is this a Zaha? No. Wait, what is that demand? Oh, this, this entire territory is called Azaha. Are they serious? 
Despite your good intentions, to accept so little would tarnish my glorious name. Our demand is unnecessary. Forget it. Huh. I they... commend your decisions. They gained war support. We have a non-aggression, so much for that. So Houding's the name of our city, but I guess the district is the entire zone is called Zaha. I mean, we have something that we are building already. <laughs> you, you think I don't want to build? Uh, we are building a new district. What are you talking about? I'm building one right now. How do I check the name of the... Yeah, like how do I know this is Azaha? Anyway, the border doesn't feel safe. We gotta get some units. We have access to warriors. We do have access to walls as well. All right, I assume walls would be a building we can build that would increase fortifications. Watchtowers would give us range. I don't think this will help us that much, although it can be upgraded to a fort, which might be better. Because four turns and one population to get ourselves a warrior. Ah, oh, so population from town can be... Oh, no, no, no. You are going there. Can I... How do I... How do I... How do I micro these guys? Ah! There we go. So, let's see. Seven turn versus five turn. And that's why the figures change from 24 to 6. Because, uh, to 18 because I got workers here. But I do want to push for food. City growth is something I am pretty sure it's good on the in the long term, so let's do that. Alright, not gonna worry too much about the war that might be coming. Yeah. Got it. Uh I should just click slowly. Come over here. I didn't get any extra because I was a 91, got 13 extra, so I don't know what the curiosity is actually doing for us. Feels like nothing? Yeah, feels like nothing. Alright, let's end our turn on river and then just follow the river down. Afterward. Party's all done. This one is constructing something. You are doing nothing. Maybe you can take some resource for us as well. That way we don't waste time with you. Alright, sounds good. Let's end turn. Gained renown as merchant. Does that mean they, they picked up the merchant one? I guess so, because it dropped 94. I think it's a competitive race, right? Anyone, any, anytime anyone gets a star, they gain the max value or the, the max at the current point, and then it decreased by three for everyone else. That means they have earned 600. Wow, they are rich, aren't they? Oh, here we are trying to get influence. It's a slow, slow game for that for us. We gotta find other ways to gain it. At least I don't see any units coming. Maybe I have him run back and forth as an actual scout. Is this really a dead end? No, there's more land over here. They do respawn. I think therefore, because there's still factions who didn't have a, didn't advance to the next, our uh, current era yet. I uh, will flow from the river. Oh, we cannot flow it from the river anymore. Guess we'll end our turn on the other river and try to flow down that river. A pretty nice place. Tea. And sage, I believe. Saffron. Saffron. Very, very nice. Mercury, saffron, we have, this is what, lead? Okay, so these are luxury, the diamond-shaped uh, icons. And then these are like strategic resources. All right, so I think everyone has done their thing. 
in the new turn, Azaha converted to a new religion. We have converted to Zhou Sh Shamanism, that is good, and we have learned Carpentry, which has access to a range unit. Good. We have gotten some Osmosis going on, so uh, that means we should have some science bonus. We have earned a science star, we have uh, unlocked four technology. We can vote on one civic, the osmosis one I'm most curious about. No, not that one. Where's the osmosis one? This one. No. So, do I have one that I can rush? I had a choice last time. I want bronze work. It's 100. Do I just acknowledge that? That feels weird. We have an event, Flooded Land 2. The Great Dyke was constructed in rapid time at your behest, and a, pro a provident choice it turned out. Uh, it turned about to be too. The deluge didn't relent, but despite the endless rain, Hao Jing and its people and property remained safe, only suffering some wet and shivering skin. Better yet, the farmland became even more fertile in the rain's aftermath. Bountiful, plus 15 food for 10 turns. Wonderful. Money well spent. Money well spent. That population should be growing fast. Two turns there. And we should be able to get this farming quarter up soon as well. And then we can probably build ourselves a holy site or whatnot. Mm, do we need walls? Right. Oh, we got... Neighbors. Well, it looks like a hunting party, right? Doesn't look that scary. These guys are just scouts. I don't think they're good for defense, so I'm gonna just run them around. Alright, let's take the movement slowly so we can see if we can discover any land bridge. We got money. I saw five. Ah, so maybe we got money for the curiosities. Was I blind earlier and not picking up on the notification for that? Here we have a new faction. Oh, actually no, we met them. This is the Mycenians. I don't want to bump into them and lose all movement, so I'm going to go down that way. Seems to be plenty of land to explore over here as well. Um, seems like we got the river that we want to follow down, but we unfortunately cannot jump down a cliff like a river can. Let's get back onto a river and go down this way next time. One movement, but that's once again a cliff face. Come over here. Sure. We have absolutely no defense. I, I realize that, but I don't know how aggressive AI factions are. Ah, oh, here's the breakthrough. All right, we can boost the 41. That's the icon choice. Okay. So that did work. And we did get the faith going on. The state of your empire's religion, the name of your state religion, and its religious leader. Well, it's really hard to read the faith, but it's faith. Draw our religious leader. Oh, it seems like we're actually spreading it to them. Two followers. Oh, there are other religion that's more popular. Well, once we get a holy site, it should be different. We also have a new civic that we can vote on. So we can choose either from army composition or legitimacy. Legitimacy gives us attach outpost costs, absorb city costs, celebrate, celebrate it on new cities. I don't feel like these are that important right now. If we talk about army composition, unit industry costs will be cheaper, or unit strength will be stronger. Both are good. The bonuses here is it goes from 20 stability to 10, plus 2 turns before being converted by others' influence on territory. Plus 2 turns. So harder to be converted. Plus 2 influence on- Oh, I like that! Professional soldiers will guard, uh, will guard us. Making such easy decisions just entirely based on which one gives us more influence. I mean, it helps. 
because now we get plus six from territory and we are a influence based culture right now so th this is giving us two i'm assuming which should mean yeah we're fighting back here with two points out of the nine and then over here they somehow became 10 and we, we're 10 so we're even with them and we're actually ahead here by a little bit in five turns we'll be converted back to joe entirely yeah so that 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 is good i do like that and, and stability is not a big thing for us because we have a lot of ways to keep things stable as far as i can see i'm i'm fairly stable Average stability of all your cities, 96%. So that's quite nice. All right, I think that's it. Farming quarter, two still two turns, five turns, 11 turns. Yeah, not too hot. If I move one over, it's two turns. Yeah, I do want that population. Wait, wait, wait. Did, that, did that just become two turns? It's two turns anyways? Oh. Oh. Ability goes down. Why? Oh, it's going down anyways. Okay, I do want to move one over if that's all the same, because I get the farmer quarter done. Which is pretty cool. Or pretty vital. Can't really assign their population just yet. Okay, and I'm sure all the scouts have finished moving. Yep, let's end turn. Population growth, wonderful. That's it. No notification for my completed uh, farming quarter right here. Stability minus eight. Right, so that's probably why my stability went down. That's where I check. But there's so much gains. I don't understand why we are netting out so low. Oh, it's not per turn sum. It's just flat out sum, right? We have plus 87 minus 8, so we have 79. That makes sense. Okay, so we want to build this... We have many options. I mean, I also want to build the copper mine, but we don't have that um, tech yet. I think this is fine. Next to a mountain, must have some bonuses, eventually. 18 turns, population growth, and one more turn, boost that, perhaps. It's a huge commitment to uh, not having defense for a while to go for a religious building, but heck, if we die on this playthrough, it's fine. We'll learn and adapt. Let's just call it limit testing. It feels like we have to all go this way, unless I can cross... Right, we don't have embarkment, right? So I figure we can't cross those oceans just yet. Um, let me use you first, because... Your terrain is the most interesting. Let's get here, see if I want to head over. Well, uh, we see pretty much everything. I'm going to step on that. 10 gold. So it's been giving us money. i I just been blind. Alright, follow the river. Right. And then pop okay. out of the river. Off we go. But basically these are money scouts. I don't can think of them like that. Now let me let me take a look at your land. Don't get nervous. Just a friendly scout. I'm the one who's scared of you. A melody for every occasion. In the teeming, iconic city of Halting, musicians are a celebrated part of the local culture, with a long history in holy rites. They bring nobility to religious rituals jollity to palaces and celebrations, smiles to the sick and ailing, courage to the marching armies, and distractions to the gods. Alas, they are still too small in number, especially the good ones, and now words, a word of their renown has reached across the empire. Lords, priests, commanders, among others, are grusing for that their city deserves such an artist too. How will you satisfy them? 
Muster, street musician Riddle Hao Jing, they could help commence.、Uh, they could help commerce elsewhere, even if they distract learning. Less enlightened citizens result as capital earmarked for schooling and innovation is kept in the treasury coffers. Plus five income, plus two science. Chance of unexpected consequences. Every city will be required to build an institution of music where we can teach new performers. Industry thrives in the city as technical innovation and motivated worker combine. Seems like we can use money to speed up our holy site. Thirteen turns instead of eighteen turns. We will take that. And eleven turns because we got a new population. And I think the game has stuck him into ah into the not into. The workforce into the labor, but into the farm, is two turns right now. If I shift him, it's three turns, but the building goes down to only ten turns from eleven. So it's not that significant. I guess we will keep the population growing at this point. Our farm district. I thought it was supposed to give us one extra farmer slot. Do we act, oh, we do have one extra farmer slot. That's right. If I shift him out, it'll be 14 turns. That is a massive difference, and it doesn't change much here. So I guess we do, we do keep him here. Overproductive right now and bountiful. Okay, so we got a lot of good bonuses going on, which is great. They're falling to our religion. I mean, I'm just praying for peace. That's pretty much the only thing we can do. We're gonna end the turn on the river. It depletes our movement, and then we can have options to follow the river. You're the most interesting one. I don't know if there's a path. There seems to be a way. Over this way. This land is huge. Cliffs close us off. We have to like get to the river here somehow. All right, that is it. Science about to come. Now, how how do they feel differently about me? So just say, you show your true colors, snake. Aggressive, right? Their war support. Hmm. This isn't gonna hold, is it? Well, I definitely want to finish this. Oh, you can dedicate other cities' production to construction of. I mean, right now we only have one city. That, that's interesting. You can use other cities to build wonders in a different land. Oh no no no! No one's building it, is it? What did I do? Yes, yes, build it. That, that's the right move. It's a share. Oh, that's why it's called a shared project. Ah.、Oh. Wait, we can make it a city. I can make something as I have over one sixty. Seventeen turns. Why?
I'm gonna rush that. Man, I can't believe 17 turns. Oh well. It will be worth it. Okay, I guess we have spent everything. He still has... Oh, everyone has to have movement. Right. He's trying to get in there, so I'm going to keep over going... Come over here. Let's go. Follow me. Ooh, so many curiosities. Is that an animal? It's a bear. It's an aggressive one. That's why we kept a party of two, I guess. They're just great ways of getting a lot of gold. Oh, I see where Mycenaeans are. We have a new Greetings, faction, the Hittites. Do you too believe that there is no limit to how hot? I don't know where you are. I don't really mind. You're not going to bother us. Oh, they have claimed this. They claimed this area. They just did that. That's totally fine. We're just sending these boys far, far away land. That's complete. I have horses now, correct? Yes, I have horses now. I can build scout riders if I want. Uh, I, I do want to finish this. Let's just enter. We got another osmosis effect. They seem to be picking different... They have ended our non-aggression pack. Oh no. Wow, Nubian's really making money. So at this point, I think we go for wheel, right? We take our unique unit, we have everything that's required. I mean, the copper's not built, but once we've built that, we have everything that's required. And we can rush some really strong units to maybe help us win a war. Um, and we're going to spend some of that osmosis science towards that. We got ourselves a new population. They put it here. Three turns. So it's the same thing. Over here we are basically going from eight to nine. Save us one turn. Which is probably good. We, we could boost more money or more science even. Yeah, but this is fine. That is just going. I can't do much about that one. So they're also building something there. Three idle armies. Yeah, we cannot cross. Mm. We'll end our turn on river. There's not much we can do about that. We have to cross that way. There is a curiosity here. Oh, we're surrounded by river. I just realized that. I mean, I guess we just have to cross it. I'm just trying to see if I can hold in like a defensive position or something. Or I can get on the river and see what he does and try to sneak over here if he doesn't do anything. Or we get attacked on the river, which could be a terrible thing. We have an offer. Melody for every occasion too. Follow-up event. Creating an institution dedicated to music in every city was an excellent idea. Performers produce refined, delicate compositions, and many pay for the privilege to hear them play. Music is a serious, artful practice carried out by trained adepts. The strict classical music culture is well established. Music is a sacred art only to be performed by those with require. Ah, this changes our society. It's boosting one of the points to the left, I guess? Sure. It's like changing the way our society is right here. Interesting. 
Okay, alright, I mean... That is that. Let us continue. You're willing to trade with us. That's that's a wonderful idea. Anything's better this than war be at this point. For all parties. When they realize that we are sorely on defense. Okay. Construction still going. There's not any way for me to speed it up anymore. I'm a max number of populations. Stability is going down. It's a little bit strained. Even at 84, it's strained, huh? Will remain with you as long as it stays between 30 and 90. Go multiple turns there. Not anywhere close either. Yeah, there's just not much we can do. Uh, moving on to our scouts, who are now in enemy territory. Ah, lost all movement because they're right next to me. Might be that way. Ah, that bear is on top of the curiosity, I think. Guess we fight him. Smart bear. All together. Oh, it's about equal damage. Alright, this one should cripple him a lot more, even though we have to attack from the low ground. He went over there to attack us, very interesting. We did kill him. He took a very weak position to attack us. Guess we praised the smart bear a little bit too soon. All right, we gotta be careful about this river situation, but I guess we can bypass it. No, we have to go through this river. Then we will go through this river. We have gained one population in our third territory. They have moved away, which allow us to kind of go clear of them. And I just want to see more of the map. Oh, that killed our movement, though. Eh, it's okay. We needed that anyways. Not much going on. Alright, any developments back at home? We're six turns here. Population growing one turn. We can probably put it in population again to keep it growing. We're still queuing up for 14 turns. Max pop here already. This one's growing, but it's not doing much. The growing faithful. The empire's religion grows. More and more follow followers coming into the faith every day. Some practice their beliefs through ceremonies led by priests, while others guide their own worship. It is time to give blessing to one of these meetings. So we have a new civic to vote on whether religion can be practiced by personal rights or communal rights and that's going to shift our society towards collectivism or individualism and we unlock processions spend money in order to increase stability or we modify religious districts to make them cheaper we currently don't have a civic point so that is not something we need to think about right now all right we are officially at five population War has not happened yet, which is great. Buy us some time. Three turns to start boosting science or money. Um, we cannot. We don't have another working quarter, a maker's quarter, so we're not getting any uh, extra worker slot. Mm. I would like to just speed this up if I can, but I can't. Oh, we have enough to influence bomb. It immediately converts the territory back. Right. And right now, we're basically losing out. 
They're just breaking even. Oh, that's terrible. Hmm. Let's test it out. I know they say that you will change back soon, but like how soon? Is it fast enough that I can get this done? So that I get 10 points of influence from this? Alright, let's move our units. This border makes me feel like I can cross over if I want to, because it's dashed. It means I can go grab that science if I kind of want to, but... I'd stay on the river. Also get on the river. I'll leave that for someone else to touch. That might- ah, uh, that doesn't look like a dead end. Oh no, you ended up in such a bad spot. Yeah, don't click too much. It's a bad habit. Yeah, there's just not much going on. We got the science going. Science star. We are almost at the next turn we'll get our first mythetic star. There we go. Everything's worth less and less. Anyways. Let's, um... Did we get another population? No, that's next turn. That's 11 more turn for another city. That's a long wait. And this, we're gonna get Ebony soon. Back to our units. Let's go! Off we go! Okay. Figure we arrived at a dead end. Off we go. Gonna go upstream. Follow me. Okay, I'll keep the good habit of one click at a time. Yeah, we'll we'll trespass a little bit. Oh, now we see where they are, the Hittites. Wait, how can we gain another population there? I thought it was already max. All right, 10 turns to enter their influence. That's fine. So Gray and Star, we have 20 population already. We're growing. And our Faith has entered enough points for a tenant. Is that what is it? 16? A new tenant be chosen? Ah. This is what we want. Oh, I'm, I'm tempted between industry or straight up influence. Let me get this and I'll turn industry into influence because our... Oh, that's different. No, this is industry on the holy site, not industry on all territories. So that means our our holy site, once constructed, will give us 10 industry. But this means every single territory we have will give us 5 influence. Uh, give me a second. Let me make sure that our territories actually have our religion. Yes. All three, but then they also have my religion. So what does that do, right? Do they get the influence to counteract my influence? 
But regardless, influence is such a big deal for us that I think... I think we pick this up. Smite Unbelievers. <laughs> that sounds so strong. The Unbeliever is a poison in the Empire's body. Cast out all who proclaims false belief. Avoid the false peddler who seek to addle the body and mind with poisonous substance. Honestly, this is quite strong, I think. 10, uh, 10 industry, just it will help so much with all our builds in our capital. I'm gonna go with this. So basically we'll spike once we finish our holy site. Which is in two turns. The new tenet for Joe Shamanism. Yeah. It's all in on this thing. They auto defaulted to money when I actually want science. Yeah, I think I want science. Money seems plentiful and our scouts are bringing home some extra ones. This is about to expire. So I don't know, this might see a slowdown. But uh, only temporarily, hopefully. Right, this is, has overpopulation. I don't even know you can do that. This is going to finish in one turn. And I believe it gives us stability, right? Mm, right? Yes. Ah, we have reached the edge of the map. At least in this direction. We don't have embarking, so we can't do much there. Let's head back. All right, so much for our click one tile at a time. Good habit. Let's keep that up. I'm sending you back. Because things will spawn again, and I can get money off of that. Okay. Yes, sir. You wouldn't mind, would you? That's not possible. You're fighting me? I'm being asked to fight. Sorry. I guess there is a price for us. That's a far retreat, though. That's his city. Uh, outpost, not not a city yet. He claimed it. Um, uh, I mean, we can try to run out of his zone, but it looks like a city. That looks like an outpost, right? So these look like city waters. That might have been the trespass that we probably shouldn't have taken, but all right. All for 10 gold. And now we are retreating, which means we are losing speed for our next turn. So how do we get out of... Oh no, they found us again. Let's go. We don't even have a mountain to defend from. Alright, let's prevent us from getting flanked. That's their deployment zone, so let's do this. They attack first, which means we're gonna get battered. They're getting more damage than we are. How can they fit? Oh, they can flank behind? Oh wow. Okay, for them... Defend for better boost for them. Also defend. We're just trying to outlast their three turns. They have more men than us. That's starting to hurt. We're gonna get wiped right here. They're not gonna stand there? Alright, we die, we die, it's fine. Now we know not to trespass. This hurts our population growth as well. I just realized we lost two population essentially.
We have access to Ebony. Come over here. Uh -huh. I guess we head back now. Follow There's me. no point to keep going to a land where people want to kill us. Over this way. That's not trespassing. We can get there. Over this way. Follow me. Off we go. Affirmative. Keepers of the Creed. What is this, Assassin's Creed? An unexpected rivalry has erupted between two temples in Haojing, each representing a different sect of Zhou shamanism. One temple argues that religious matters should be left in the hands of the dispassionate men, while the other contends that only women, with their capacity for nurturing life, possess the necessary understanding for these affairs. These quarrels must stop before your inhabitants start fighting each other. Who should your... Who should be your religious leader? Wow. So these icons represents, right, our shift towards being more pro progress versus traditional. So both women and men are viewed as traditional, like one sect is better than the other sects. Ah. Uh. Let's keep the door open for both. All right. We are gonna get this done next two turns, hopefully. And that's that's that. We wanna see that. Oh, this has finished, so we can build another one. Get ourselves some sage. I will have enough to make you a city soon, assuming the cost is still 160. It is, okay. And, uh, right, our population dipped below 20, which we had 20. I mean, we probably gained one population and then we lost two, so we're at 19 now. That's fine. Military stars. Probably going to be hard for us to get these. We hunted deers to get, to get the one that we got. And a bear. Our most impressive hunt was a bear. We got one civic vote. Uh, there are a bunch of matters for us to vote on. No, no, no. I put the wrong one. Civic vote's right here. This religious right one. Well... Get 5% industry on city or outposts. Or gain 5% money. I quite like this. We're losing stability whenever we make one of these votes. That is quite an interesting trade-off. Because the society becomes stable when you make a change. It's also interesting how the one that will shift us towards money gives us a modified construction cost discount to religious districts. Whereas the one that's giving us industry allows us to spend money to increase stability. I'm gonna make it personal. We have finished building our holy site. We are the first one to do so. And we have gained 100 fame. And our holy site produces 20 faith, 10 industry, 10 influence, and 22 stability for our region. Which makes Haojing incredibly stable. Uh, hopefully very productive. We can build a second one too, because we have a, we increase the limit of holy sites. But I think it's time to shift to more pressing matters. We need that copper mine up and running. That's probably what we will work on next so that we can get Zhan Chu as our unique unit once our tech comes out in one turn. And then we can have roads as well from wheel and we can have strong chariots to fend off a potential war as we will expand more cities. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to end things here and come back and pick things up from here and continue to build out our first city. And it's a quite nice looking holy site. A bunch of stones in circles on the opposite side of the mountain we have a school on this side we have faith kind of the you know the just position of different ideologies and in the middle here we have a valley where our city is anyways uh, this is it see you guys next time bye